saying? Yeah, because they know what I'm about to come with. You see? I hope you got a tough skin. Because I know we coming from all type of religious backgrounds. And your slave master is responsible for all type of atrocities against our people. And just because you just happen to be a member of the religion, you think we should take it easy on the religion. And that's just not going to happen. And you, if we're dealing with the Hebrew mythology today, I thought I cleaned that shit up 10 years ago. Niggas still breathing fire into that shit. Then you got the Serapis worship, the Christians, trying to make Jesus black. And the only goddamn image they ever saw was the Peckerwood image. And so if he was black, the machine of Christianity has always ways been ran by the peck of wood. Okay? And there are going to be many that's going to come out and try to make one of them prophets in the goddamn Bible black. But it don't excuse the facts that every African nation in the book is cursed by God. Everyone, starting from Ham. Let me keep it moving. Right here, religious uh, perpetration of the black religious perpetration of the black holocaust. Cause you teach this shit every day. You talk about the goddamn Hebrews, and everybody seem to be taken back by what they saying. But what is fueling the shit that's coming out of their mouth? The Bible. So you niggas want to go in there and read them little pretty verses that keep your ego going, but you don't want to deal with the fact that the Bible is anti-African. And I don't care how many niggas you can show with woolly hair and black feet. That don't make you no goddamn holy, because the nigga had black feet. <laughs> Shit, Clarence Thomas got goddamn black feet. Huh? That damn Bill Cosby had woolly hair and black feet, and this nigga dropping Mickey's all in these women. Goddamn drink. We're gonna deal with it. Goddamn Hebrew Jiu Jitsu master. Okay? These niggas been looking for me. You see? But today we gonna prevail on their ass. But today we gonna, we gonna prevail on their ass. If you if you hear any one of them books, the Bible, the Torah, the Quran, you got Jew on you. All that shit come from the Jew. Every last one of them, the Jew didn't had his hands on it. If you if you reveal Moses, put your hands in the air. You got Jew on you, nigga. You don't want to throw it up. You don't want to throw a plagiarizer, a goddamn thief. Stole up out of Egypt. Said Moses was learning all the wisdom of the Egyptians, but not one of you niggas want to say what it was he learned. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's talk about this shit. Talking about what they ain't take. Let me get on in here. These, re these religions are psychological fractures in the mind. It's not all right. If you could accept a damn book that could continuously shit on African people, and it's justified by God. God damn. You in an eternal trap. A God nobody can even. I say you know God. Who know God? Call his ass up then. Get him on the phone. You want to say we should believe in this book. But this book is killing us. And not, not one of you niggas can get him on the phone. To justify none of this shit that man is writing. Every goddamn book, if it's the Bible, it's the Torah, it's the Quran, it got a copyright date on it. It got a publishing date on it. If you see it, that means they got records. Somebody went and filed the goddamn application. Who filed the goddamn application for the copyright and the publishing right on the goddamn Bible? Was it God? Yeah, you niggas don't want to go down there and see that. Y'all don't want to go down there and see that slave master name that filled out the goddamn application for your Bible, your Quran, your Torah, 
you got Jews that own the goddamn copyright to a Christian Bible. They don't even belong to the goddamn faith. All right. And so you got these, these sisters and brothers out here wigging out on this shit. Just wigging out. Hooping and hollering, putting all this goddamn energy behind a religion that's killing their ass. How many trillions of dollars have we given the church? Huh? How many goddamn industries have they built up for the African nation in this country? Nothing. You got these goddamn preachers out here, all they do is go up, take your ass up, up, in a goddamn way. And they not coming back down. You niggas keep looking up while they stealing everything down here. You niggas got to wake up. You got to get your mind about this goddamn sky. Look at this Kundaria. Not Gondaria, but goddamn Kundaria. A goddamn Sambo embarrassing. This is what goes on in the goddamn church. How the hell is we gonna take you niggas serious about any of this shit? And this is all you niggas could do is dance. And so this is the clergy of all goddamn religions. If you believe in that book, you just like the genie in the lamp, nigga, you trapped. You can't get out. You can't even change nothing in the damn book. You got to take the whole damn religion as it's given to you. If you start thinking outside of the damn book, they gonna call you a heretic. Nobody in here was born with a religion. I had to bang on that. You was not born with a Bible strapped to your ass. You was not born with a Quran strapped to your ass. Okay, so you were not born a Jew, a Hebrew, a Christian, or a Muslim. Somebody gave you that shit. Walking down the street, just like them goddamn Jehovah Witnesses. Walking around with all that paraphernalia, handing that shit out. And don't even know their own goddamn prophet. Charles Taz Russell was buried with a goddamn pyramid tombstone. So you handing me this garbage, but your leader is behind the scene studying our ancestors. Y'all better wake y'all ass up. Sick of you niggas. Keep coming in here with this biblical bullshit. The goddamn flood was a way that they could wash away all the goddamn history of our people that came before them. A goddamn flood that washed away everything. And then the niggas come off the goddamn boat and in two days they building ziggurats and pyramids. Eight damn people. Eight people, goddamn. Do you know how, you know, if you look at the Egyptian chronology and I'm going to show you, it lasted for 3,000 years. Ain't no break in the goddamn civilization. Do you think if the flood came and washed everything away, do you know how long it would have, they would have had to take to redevelop the knowledge? They wouldn't have came off the goddamn boat building no goddamn pyramids. The whole goddamn ecosystem would have been destroyed. And niggas believe in some goddamn animals came from every goddamn continent. How the fuck did they get across the ocean? And then when the shit landed on in Turkey, and y'all don't understand that. Do you understand that Noah's Ark landed in Turkey? <laughs> All you had to do is give you niggas some, some free cheese, some free goddamn butter, and you niggas is happy. Yeah, I'll make jester niggas. I'll make, I'll make jester niggas. You sit up all goddamn day, and then when we get on this shit, you can't take it. This is Krakatosis. This is Serapis worship. We can go to every goddamn black church right now, and then there's 75% got Serapis up on their goddamn wall. Wondering why our sisters won't respect us as men, because their goddamn God is a white man. You got to take that shit down, brother. You got to go to war with that shit. You got to go to war with, what is the, what is the uh, God? Is it the sun, is it creation, or is it the goddamn books? You can't live without the sun. See, when we say we worship the sun, that means we worship creation. You how has God created the Bible when they shun you for studying creation? Because they know they are the goddamn order. They know the goddamn beast created that shit. Let me keep it moving. Hey Zeus, that should, should let you know right there 
that the man, when you say the man's name in Spanish or Portuguese, which is a romantic language coming out of Rome, it says, Jesus. We say the motherfucker, look, is all these coincidences? They all adding up? Let me keep it moving. For you niggas that want to paint Jesus black, okay? Don't make no goddamn difference. These the niggas that's out there on the goddamn corner. Ain't got not one wall to show you what an ancient Hebrew dress like. Where did they get that shit from? They got it from goddamn Cecil. What's that motherfucker that did the Ten Commandments? Cecil B. DeMille's. You got them goddamn because there's no wall with an ancient Hebrew on it to show you what the fuck they dress like. So you got that shit from the movies, nigga. Come here. Let me keep it. It's man worship, goddammit. Don't want to put no woman in the Hebrew faith. Well, don't want to put no woman in the Christian faith. Don't want to put no woman in the Islamic faith. No balance in it. The black woman is God. Nobody came out of their mama's womb and said, take me down to Solomon's temple so I can find God. No baby came out the womb and said, take me down to Reverend Brown's love chapel so I can find God. No baby came out of the womb and said, take me down to Mosque 3004 so that I could put my forehead on the ground and pray to God. When you came out of the womb, you called on your mama. You called to be fed. You knew who your God was. And then you done laid on Big Mama couch all your goddamn life making sandwiches, not paying no goddamn rent, and then when you turn 25 years old, somebody put some shit in your head, and now all of a sudden, you bigger than Big Mama. You bigger than Big Mama. I'm breastfed the, your ass. Wasn't no Similac in the goddamn world 3,000 years ago. She was your God. She the one fed you and nourished you. She is your savior. Because if she didn't put that, that breast down in your mouth and feed you, nigga, you would have died. Let me keep it moving. Let me keep it moving. Let me get off these niggas. It's about the book. It's about the book. They're going to go in here and tell you how old these characters is. Fuck the characters. How old is the book? They just got a goddamn print and press. They didn't have no damn Bibles. That's why when it's always called, it, called on them to produce the original, they didn't got it. They ain't got not one original book out of any of the books in the Torah, the Bible, or the Quran. So what the fuck is y'all talking about? They're creating this shit as they go. They're creating this shit as they go and they're lying because they're trying to steal the greatness of our people. That's God right there. What do I mean by that? When they start to show creation anthropomorphically, putting the hand in the sky, that's God. God is the creator dressed up in human attributes. God walks through the garden. Do he got legs? I mean, I'm just listen, the word of God. Have anybody ever heard God speak? In, I did in my head, in my head, back when I was silly, okay? And I know all y'all did it, okay? I talked to God in my head, and I knew I was answering for God. I said, oh, my divine father, what is it that you want me to do on this planet? And I heard a voice say, oh, my divine son, I want you to lead your people to freedom. But I knew that I was answering that shit. <laughs> and you know, and I could see some faces fucked up because they know. Hey, this nigga done fucked my game up. You see what I'm saying? You know you answering just like in the book. No God is writing no goddamn books. Men are publishing all books. Okay, where the paper? Where did God got paper up in heaven? The ink and shit, he got everything that he need. All right, let me keep it moving. So everything created by the European was done to help him maintain control over the world, including science and religion. Whatever fucking book he got to pull off the goddamn shelf to beat us, that's what he gonna do. He's always goddamn lying. Let me keep it moving. Let's deal with, we're dealing with economics. And I, I'm gonna tell you right here, we're in the biggest goddamn hole of creation. Ain't no way you gonna get up out of this system thinking you gonna beat this cracker with the dollar. 
You got a better chance of getting your goddamn gun and go and take what the fuck you want than trying to get these little goddamn pennies. And listen to me. Do that mean don't get, get an economic plan going? That ain't what it mean. I want you to look at these goddamn numbers, all right? And this was in two, 2010. You got the top 1% in America own 42% of the financial wealth. That's 314 goddamn people. In the 314 million people in this country, 1% of that is 314. So 314 crackers got damn near 50% of all financial wealth in America. Then you go to the next 4% and they got 30. They got 30, damn near bringing it to 75%. And if you go to the next 5% and add that 13% on it, Damn, they bring you to 90. They say the bottom 80% of this country got 5% of the financial wealth. The bottom 80, that include crack crackers, niggas, Mexicans, every motherfucking body. We got 5%, but that's 250 million. You got damn near 314. You got the bottom 5% got way more money than the bottom 80%. How the fuck is you gonna win against that? What kind of goddamn economic plan? They done robbed us of 400 years of our goddamn labor. We need that fucking wealth. We broke our fucking backs for 400 years and ain't got shit to show for it. And now they want us to roll these little dice. Fuck that. We too far in the fucking hole. You know how much development we done lost over 400 years of not being able to take our work we working? We not giving shit to our babies, no educational system, no goddamn blueprint. We don't have no motherfucking choice but to take what the fuck we want. Or we gonna slow roll our ass to death because we are not gonna beat this cracker with this goddamn money. Let me, and look, the, this is the global goddamn system. This, the first one was America. So you got the bottom, 99.9% .9 of the globe only got 19% of the wealth. The bottom, that's almost got down 100%. Do y'all understand that? Somebody needs to tell y'all that. Give me some water up here. Give me some water. Shit. <laughs> Trying to go in up here. Hold on. Goddamn Hebrew. We already got them. All you do is pull any one of them out. Adam and Eve. I'm going to show you there ain't nothing but vampires fleeing from the goddamn sun. Fleeing from the goddamn sun. Ran right up into the Caucasus Mountains. Talking about the goddamn boat landed in Turkey. That's our new origin. And everything that came before the flood was washed away. This is why these niggas is saying that they come back into Africa. That they Asiatics. We got to wake up out of that. Okay, here we are looking at the carrot. So if we only get, it's only 5% of the wealth that's really out there. So they got all these goddamn apparatuses to drive the people. And ain't but five goddamn percent. So they driving all these niggas, these crackers, towards the goddamn cliff with carrots of cars, status, money, houses, shit you gonna kill yourself to try to get five goddamn percent. Eight. That's the only in 2015 amount. is even goddamn higher. Okay, looking at Tulsa, Oklahoma. They don't want no communities of niggas trying to get it right. They could control an individual nigga. They can't control communities like that. You think you gonna set up in, in the goddamn crackers house? What one of you niggas gonna let another nigga set up on your block and get that and, and work your block? Tear down your goddamn community. What the fuck was we gonna do? We gonna burn that shit down tonight. You're not gonna get no money on my block. So what the fuck do you think we could come out here, talk about taking this cracker off his block and he not gonna try to go to war with you? Okay? So we looking at Tulsa, we got the ability to do great, great things in all areas. But if you're not ready to go to war to defend that shit, you might as well don't even build it. You got to be ready to defend this shit. Because any Edith Manning talked about we inferior, bad.
backed it up with the Bible. God damn it, Ham, the first supposed to be patriarch of the African race, a homosexual. They fuck us up from the beginning. The very, the very first man that supposed to be the patriarch, the three sons of Noah, Ham, Shem, and Jephthah, Ham supposedly saw Noah's nakedness on the boat. And some books even say he poked him. <laughs> if you watch the new mo movie at the end, you'll see Ham walk off and you'll see Noah pop he was down gay there. father of Egypt, Ethiopia, Canaan, and Pum. And this God then gave the Israelites permission to commit genocide on the Canaanites. And this is a God that said, thou shalt not kill. And he didn't wiped out the whole goddamn earth with a flood. Okay? We getting in on this shit. So letting you know that it's all about this guy. I don't give a, we ain't got enough heat. Motherfucker, use what you got. Quit coming up with a goddamn excuse. See, when it comes time to go to war with the brothers, you go all in the trunk, nigga. You go all in the attic, get all that shit you got. But then when the cracker come around, you ain't got it. You scared, nigga. It's coming down to a war with this goddamn white man. The war is happening now. And the killing part of the body, even though we talk about arming ourselves, we know it's a defensive posture, but I'm letting you know you best to believe the cracker coming to you, nigga. You ain't got the word. You think we just gonna march out, bitch? He bringing it to your ass right now. He, he whooped your grandma, our grandmama out there on the highway that, what's that, last year? Beat her down. What the fuck we gonna do about it? We gonna keep having fucking seminars? All right. If them niggas want to prove something to me, nigga go pull one of them goddamn crackers wig back. You ain't got to tell nobody. Yeah. I'm going to come back to that because I'm coming back to that. You know what I'm saying? That's going to deal with the economic plan uh, uh, of Africa. Niggas lying about Africa and the greatness of Africa. And I'm going to show you all the goddamn resources that they still, right here, the curse of Ham, the curse of Canaan. And then you look at this shit all on the damn internet. You look at Cush, all of these, they say, curse Ham, the Miserum, which is Egypt, Canaan, which is modern day Israel, Nimrod. Do you understand that Nimrod was the son of Cush? And we always saying Babylon, down with Babylon. Not knowing that that's a Cushite land. Motherfuckers rooted, rooted for David. Not knowing that Goliath was from the Philistine and the Philistine was the son of Egypt. But you rooted for David. See, you got to understand every player in the book before you read it. Then you can understand the politic in it. Take your time to read and you will see that every African nation in the Bible is cursed. Let me keep it moving. Let me keep it more. I don't want to read. Nah, this is Ecclesiastic 3, uh, verse 11. It says, he had made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. So what the fuck is Genesis and what the fuck is Revelations? Because ain't no man supposed to know that. See? That's why so many goddamn contradictions in it. Y'all got to understand that Genesis is the foundation of the Bible. Not only the Bible, the New Testament and the Quran. They need every player on the board. Adam and Eve, Noah, Abraham, they need every last one of them. And I, don't, I just don't know how you're going to get them. Because I got some for every last one of them. Okay, let me come. Let's come. Let's come out of here. And then you go into Genesis. Let me go back. You go into Genesis. This is, and it says in the beginning. And it just says no that, that no man can find out the work that God make it from the beginning to the end. And they start the goddamn book off in the beginning. <laughs> I want y'all to look at it. it's Genesis. Now I want. You, let me keep it moving. Let me keep it moving. Let me keep it moving. I want y'all to understand something, all right? Now, I'm going to go down here. This is Genesis 16. 
and God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Now this, this God created the sun, the moon, and stars on the fourth day. Now all I want to ask y'all is what lit this motherfucker up for the first three days. <laughs> Listen to me now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go right in Genesis. He created the sun, the moon, and the stars on the fourth day. Now, what the hell, where was the earth at? Because we know the earth spinning around the sun. Why would you create the goddamn earth before you create the sun? What constitute a day? Three, uh, 24 hours around the sun. But you didn't create that until the fourth day. So what lit this motherfucker up for the first three days? That's the question. I know. I'm going to move on. And then you created, you created the plant life on the third day before the sun. And knowing that the goddamn plants is feeding from the sun. How do you do silly shit like that? And y'all won't question it. Because y'all say it's God inspired. Just tell the truth. The contradictions come from man. There is no God. It's only the creator. The creator is God. God is the creator dressed up like a damn man or a woman. You see Newt? You see Newt in the sky? She's a woman. But you see the stars is in her body. That's an anthropomorphic image of the cosmos. But it ain't no woman in the sky. But the spirit of the universe is feminine. That's what they saying. Ain't no goddamn man up in the sky with no hand around the earth and sun. That shit man put up it. And so when you hear a nigga say, God ordained me to kill you, you got to check that shit. You can't be so in fear of God, you can't check it when all the goddamn cards is stacked against you. Silly ass niggas. All the goddamn cars. Ain't one good motherfucker in from the African tribe. Not one good motherfucker. The holidays, the Passover. That's when all the African babies was killed in Egypt. When the spirit of death moved through the land and the Hebrews was told to put the blood of the lamb over their door so that the spirit of death would move past them. So they writing all these goddamn stories about killing our babies. Enslaving our women. Y'all man, y'all got to wake up. Y'all got to wake up. And then they talk about they was building something before ancient Egypt so they could take credit. These motherfuckers, this is Joseph, who supposedly lived around 17. We know it's a lie, but we're going to use it. And he, he told them that Pharaoh was going to ask y'all, well, what is y'all job? And you know what the man said? Listen to me. And the men are shepherds, for their trade have been about to feed cattle. And it shall come to pass when Pharaoh shall call you and, and shall say, What is your occupation? Thy servant trade have been about cattle for my youth, even until now, we and also our father. This is in the 17 fucking hundreds. They still feed it. So don't let them niggas run in here and tell you they was building anything. They would, that, that shit ain't in the Bible. And now you got Hebrews who supposed to be the chosen people. They need references outside of the Bible. God damn it, if you got God's word, nigga, you got it. God need an extra reference. They put more motherfucking energy in the reference than they do the Bible. Trying to prove some fake ass Sumerian shit. Let me keep, and so we looking right there. This is what they was dealing, they was uh, dwelling in. How do you go from a tent to a damn pyramid? Without evolution. Can you show us the evolution in that? Let me come out of this. This ham. Let me come out of this. I don't want to deal with this right now. We'll deal with, okay, the usurpation of the Garden of Eden. This is what y'all got to be clear about. When you go into Genesis, in the beginning, what does it say the Garden of Eden is? It's in Ethiopia. But they couldn't deal with that. They couldn't deal with that. Let me come out of this. Let me go to this. I'm going straight to this goddamn... And y'all need to see that right there. 
when you're talking about Asia. You could tell that Africa was the true source of all things because when the African animals went into Asia, they digressed. Look at the goddamn lion. Look at the goddamn elephants. They didn't have the same damn vegetation and, and food and water and all the things in Africa that they had. So when they went into damn Asia, they digressed. Look at it. Look at that dumb looking ass elephant. <laughs> Showing that Africa was the source of the, the dominant gene. All right, let me keep it. Okay, now we're going into Noah. This is where I wanted to be. So the flood was a way of washing all the way all the history that came before him. And you know where it landed? Mount Arab. In the Caucasus Mountains. It went from Ethiopia to the Caucasus Mountains. And you see right here, they supposedly left Mount Arab and went down into Shinar, into the ba into Babel or Babylon. Okay, and from there, then they went into Africa and the rest of the places. This is what the niggas is trying to say. And so, do you see the goddamn Mount Arab? Any of y'all niggas come from up off some goddamn mountains of ice? Ain't nobody looked that shit up. Y'all embarrassed by that shit. So when they washed away Ethiopia, this became the new home of humanity. This is the starting point right here. And you know exactly where it's located, right around Kazaria. Y'all want to see? Right around Kazaria. And right around what they call the origin of the cracker. Look at where it's at. Ain't no man come from up, no black man come from up there. Ain't nothing up there, no vegetation, no animal life, all cold region. What nigga go create some shit like that? That's a white man's origin. Look at them motherfuckers right there. <laughs> them the ones responsible for that shit. And you know what? And that's why I had to show Adam and Eve. Cause they always show them with that caveman uniform on. <laughs> See, flee from that sun. And they wrote that shit right on there because they could not live out our scriptures. They had to destroy our scriptures and rewrite them scriptures. So you get, you see where they're running? Right back up into them goddamn mountains. See, it fit the story. Don't let them niggas show you no black motherfucker, nigga. Let's deal with the beginning of the book. You see what I'm saying? So this is Ethiopia and the name of the second river of Gihar, the same as that compass of the whole land of Ethiopia. And so you got these crackers in the Garden of Eden. The whole backdrop is Africa. Ain't no goddamn animals like that in Sumeria. Let's just be real about it. You could go right to the goddamn uh, National Geographic, any one of them got, and you could get them that information. So they done stolen our birthright. And then you got all these animals. I, I touched on that. Came across all types of divides, mountains, rivers, and then the goddamn boat landed in Turkey and they all got back. They all got back to where they came from. <laughs> Ain't no uh, two lambs and two damn lions. <laughs> he would, after he ate the motherfuckers, he would have died out because it wouldn't have been no more. Everybody would have had one good goddamn meal and it would have been a wrap. Let's count the shit out. You don't want to be real because you say God gave it to you. Let me keep it moving. So we look at and why they ran up out of Africa. And see, a lot of people cannot deal with the fact that the white man is a beast. I don't give a fuck about I'm looking right at the shit. This is how they came up out of them caves. Every last one of them. Just like we all got African people got one single origin, all European people got one single origin. So when they all came up out them goddamn mountains, this is how they look. And a lot of you don't want to deal with it, nigga, because you fucking with them beasts right goddamn now. I'm glad you up in here, nigga. I'm glad you up here, because I'm not going to have no mercy on this goddamn beast. Your ass don't get this work tonight. And so 
when you talk about Adam and Eve, you can always see they flee and then they hide and they face from the goddamn sun. It says that Adam and Eve was put out of Eden. We were never put out of Eden. We still in Africa right now today. So that could not have been us. We were never put out of Africa. Whoever that was, was put out. We in Africa right now today. We might be in turmoil, but we there. We were never put out. That's the story of another people. That's the story of another people. And so this, this, we, we could see the madness. Why did they have to change our scroll? Because this wasn't a reality. Look at the motherfucker's face. And he said, God placed man in Ethiopia. Why would he do that? See, so he, he couldn't live this reality. So they had to change the Holy Land from Ethiopia to Sumeria because it was closer to where he came into the world. He, could, he thought he could take Mesopotamia, even though it was too hot for his ass there. Let me keep, and so we're looking at the Muslim. They say sun, moon, and star, but they got the sun up there. Hide the fact and want to talk about ancient Egypt, talking about we worship the sun, we worship the moon, and they just stole the religion and hid it up under the concept of Allah. I asked any Muslim today, what was the first holy city that the Muslims prayed to? I said it last night, you don't even want to say. Jerusalem, 18 years. It's in the Quran to show you the influence of the Jew on Islam. They want to talk about the Jews so much. But they prayed to Jerusalem for the first 18 years. You could go Google that right now. Okay? But you want to talk about this. See, I hear the quietness in that. You see? Always want to talk about the Jew. But when you fall out economically, then you want to rewrite the motherfucking story. Long as the economics is rolling, you're praying to Jerusalem. When they ain't giving you no goddamn money, now you're praying to Mecca. And every one of us always look directly to these holy lands of our slave masters looking over Africa, not even looking at the, the richness that we deny our people to be a goddamn slave. You ain't getting shit out of goddamn none of these religions. I know. I know. I done seen too many of my family pass on and the goddamn churches stay. They stand in every goddamn day. You'll never see a goddamn church go down. All right, let me keep it. They all worship the sun. So you see, the first one is the Temple of Abydos. You see how they had, they let the sun in because that's the most vital energy that we got. We don't need no goddamn nuclear energy. We got solar energy. Them little 10,000 times more powerful than nuclear energy. And so you see that the, the Christian uh, church, the, the Jewish synagogue, and the Muslims all keep that, that solar worship right there in their temples. They have never given it up. But they heard it because they know if we practice it the way that we was practice, our ancestors was practicing it, we would have been killed they ass. I don't have no mercy on it. You see how they went down there and killed our family down there in Charleston? You think I give a fuck about these peckle woods? Or you, if you agree with him, the peckle wood. I don't give a goddamn. If you're not black, and you don't love blackness, and it hurts you when I talk about the white man, get your ass up and get the fuck out. This ain't a place for your ass. Don't sit up in here and, uh, and bring no foul ass energy because you got crackatosis in your goddamn heart. Oh no, we're going to go hard for blackness today. And we're going to get that garbage up off the goddamn corner called the Hebrew cellulite. The goddamn trans man should have been got their ass up off the goddamn corner. We're going to get them up off there. Let's keep it moving. So you see right there, they hide, they put them circular windows up there. That's the worship of the sun. To remind them of who's truly God. Not that fictional puppet motherfucker that you go and talk to in the confessional. You can never talk directly to God. You gotta pay this nigga to make the, the connect. You call the middle man. Oh man, I need some work, man. Yo, all right, I'll call him up, fuck you. Just give me that bread, I'll call him up. 
All right. Where we at? All right. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wing. That's my, I think that's Malachi. Showing you that when they took up out of Egypt, they took the worship of the sun. That's us. That's ancient Egypt. That's what they stole. Ain't no God in no goddamn sky gave them that. That was on the walls of not only just ancient Egypt, but Nubia, which I will show, set a king on the throne almost a thousand years before ancient Egypt. So if you, you think you can take Egypt, now you got to explain Nubia. Then it found all the regalia in ancient Nubia. The same regalia you see on the Pharaoh, you see the Nubians with the, the crown of the south. You see them sitting on the throne. You see my eye. You see all of that in Nubia, almost 1,000. So how can you take Egypt without taking Nubia? Y'all got to do the math. We winning this shit. If you go to Africa, there is no place, and I'm going to end with that. When you talking about megaliths, I'm not talking about no nigga standing on the corner. When you talk about Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, even Zimbabwe, the great uh, castles of Zimbabwe, we have megaliths almost from the top of Africa to the bottom. No other people got so many beautiful ancient megaliths that we can honor. Y'all got to go to the source. Go to the source, any of us, and y'all know it and hear it. They have nothing that can compare to our people. We need to go back home. That's the first thing about Pan-Africanism, loving Africa as your motherland, as your holy land. That's the first prerequisite to Pan-Africanism. Family, polite about to come up. You're going to go hard, and I'll be back for another hour.